Bangladesh, a country where 90% of the people are Muslim. A country filled with Islamic history and heritage. However, Islam is under attack in Bangladesh. The current Awami League government, it appears, is determined to remove Islam from the public sphere in Bangladesh. Shajib Wajid Joy, the son of the current Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and Karl Klavako in 2008, published an article entitled Stemming the Rise of Islamic Extremism in Bangladesh. This article appeared in the Harvard International Review, where they argued that in the last five years, the purchasing of burqa has risen by 500%. The Awami League government must come to power to stop the selling of burqa in Bangladesh. After coming to power, this is what the Deputy Speaker of Bangladesh's Parliament, Shaukot Ali, is on record saying about the burqa. Such words from a senior government figure displays Awami League government's hatred against women who out of modesty and a desire to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose to wear the burqa. Increasingly, women who due to Islamic conviction have chosen to wear the burqa in the public domain are coming under pressure from places of work and education to abandon this religious obligation. <laughs> The most recent attacks on Muslim women occurred when 20 students observing the Islamic burqa belonging to various educational institutions were arrested for no apparent reason. Police raided their offices and found copies of the Holy Quran, Islamic books as well as other Islamic literature. However, the police falsely informed the media that their search uncovered terrorist literature and a plot to carry out a terrorist attack. The 20 women were taken to Ramna prison where all 20 were forced into one prison cell. Despite the freezing conditions, the women were not provided blankets nor did they have access to drinking water or food. The women complained about their inability to make ablution and pray. Their relatives were not allowed to visit them. Amongst the 20 arrested was a five-month pregnant woman. She was not spared the humiliation and had to endure this harrowing experience despite her condition. In fact, this lady was forced to climb eight flights of stairs at the courthouse, even though a lift was situated nearby. Shockingly, the judge approved two days of remand for 19 women, despite there being no evidence of them committing a criminal offence. It has been alleged that these women have been tortured and denied their human rights while in remand. They were forced to take off their hijab. They were dragged by their hair and forced to the floor. <laughs> this unjustified arrest of Muslim women saw the women's rights movement and various other human rights organizations call a protest meeting at the National Press Club
তাদের জন্য আজকে উৎকণ্ঠায় ভুগছি বিচলিত আছি আবেগান্ত অবস্থা এখানে সমবেত হয়েছি তারাও জানতে চায় কি তাদের অপরাধ তারা একটা পাঁচত্বের ঢঙ্গের তাদের কিছু মেয়ে দরকার তারা সেরকম মেয়ে দেখতে চায় তো সেরকম মেয়ের জন্য জায়গা জায়গা আছে তোমরা সেদিকে যাও আমাদের এই ভেঙে ঢুকে আমরা একটু ভালোভাবে মেধা চর্চা করে নিজেদের ইজ্জত হেফাজত করে আমাদের পরিবারের ইজ্জত হেফাজত করে বাপমার কল বাপমাকে কলঙ্কিত না করে সমাজ রাষ্ট্রকে বঞ্চিত না করে কলঙ্কিত না করে আমরা একটা ভালো কিছু করতে চাই আমাদের উপর তোমাদের কেন এত হায়নার দৃষ্টি While trying to enter the National Press Club to join this meeting, a further 11 burqa-wearing women were arrested. Once again, these women were detained without charge. In court, these women were forced to remove their hijab and burqa. A thousand Muslim scholars have condemned these attacks on burqa-clad women, particularly the fact that their hijab was forcibly removed at the courthouse. The National Fatwa Board said in a statement that forcibly removing the burqa from these women is like declaring war against Islam. Even in non-Muslim countries, this kind of treatment toward Muslim women is unheard of. Attacks on Muslim women observing burqa has revealed the hatred that the Awami League has for Islam. Their actions has been condemned by political, religious and community leaders across the country. The Awami government must stop attacking Muslim women who choose to wear the burqa. They must end their attack against Islam and Muslims. All those who love Bangladesh must rise in opposition to their current policies. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove oppression and injustice from our beloved country and enable its people to establish Islam in all aspects of their lives.